everyone. I'm Zenobia Godschalk, the SVP of Communications for Hedera Hashgraph. And today for Earth Week, we are joined by Peter Giuliano, who is the CMO of GoMint. Hi, Peter. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for having me today. <laughs> good, good. Um, we have a number of folks who are familiar with GoMint from the you know, HTS hackathon, but we also have some folks who may not have heard of you. Can you give me a little bit of background on the company and what you guys are aiming to achieve? Absolutely. So uh, GoMint is a platform that is used to tokenize and monetize almost any digital asset using HTS. Um, we're planning a full marketplace for users to showcase their and sell their NFTs. Um, there's been a lot of interest in the NFT portion of our mission at the moment. So um, we're planning an amazing curated launch, uh, which is going to be basically a proof, proof of concept launch. That's going to be the first week of May. Um, and, and that's basically the, the brief uh, history of what Go Mint is. Um, I, I could tell you about how it started, if you want me to go into that or. Yeah, we'd love to hear that. Okay, uh, so GoMint started as a hackathon project for Hedera 21. Um, it was led by Alex Taylor of KPay, Richard uh, McNamara of Taskbar, along with Mark Lombardi. Um, they won the social good prize that was sponsored by the Chopra Foundation. And there was so much interest after that, that um, they decided to take it the next step. And that's when they, brought me on board to, to help grow the grow go mint and get it out there more. All right. And, you know, we have been hearing a lot about NFTs. I think that's, you know, um, it's the buzziest of buzzwords right now, but we're also hearing from artists and other creators who have concerns about the environmental impact and the footprint of NFTs. Um, so can you talk a little bit about that and about go mint's approach to that? Yeah, sure. So um, I think when it comes to the green stuff, it really comes down to how the platform achieves consensus, um, whether there's heavy processing power needed to run a proof of work blockchain, such as Ethereum, or a proof of stake like Hedera, where it takes considerably less energy to run nodes required to ma maintain that consensus. Um, I was reading an article the other day, actually, that said um, the, the estimated NFT, one NFT on Ethereum has a carbon footprint of about 210 kilograms of CO2, which is the wow. equivalent to what, yeah, which is the equivalent to one month's consumption of electricity for one person. So I think it's an, it's, it's an important consideration when doing NFTs and, you know, Hedera is considerably less. So if you want to be green, you should go with Hedera and then if you're going to go with Hedera, might as well go with Go Mint. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about, you know, how you work with an artist and what that process would be like for them or any kind of content creator. Okay, so right now we basically have two separate business models we're running with. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We have the, the front end, which is basically like an artist marketplace. And then we're all, we also have like a subscription private label model for for enterprises and for businesses. So for the artist section right now, like I said, well, we're working on the proof of concept launch. And that is pretty much where we're curating that launch, talking to artists, they're uh, sending us information about them, their history, uh, sending us the artwork and telling us what they want minted. And we're gonna, we're, we're actually like white gloving the service for launch. So we're setting up their profile for, for them, minting it for them, and then, just handing over the profile for the launch. And then, as I said, uh, shortly after the launch, there will be a, a, in the near future, uh, a full marketplace so that everyone can just hop on and do it themselves. But it sounds like a great combination, at least to start. You know, I think a lot of people want, they want the technology to work, but they also want, you know, a human to sort of walk them through that process, right? Because this is kind of brave new world for all of us. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it definitely is a, a new world. And a lot of people, as you said, are, are NFTs are confusing because they're so popular right now and it's, it's sort of a buzzword around. And then there's the other part of it that people are just hearing it and have no idea what an NFT is. So there's a, a lot of explaining, a lot of um, 
yeah, uh, just a, a lot of information to get out there to, to those people that don't know what an NFT is, and then to the artists as well who are trying for the first time to mint on Hedera. Yeah, lots of education all around. Yes. Um, and, you know, you talked about the hackathon. Can you share some things that you all learned as you went through that process? And then, you know, now that we are, what, a month or so out, some anything else that you've learned um, post-hackathon? Okay, so I wasn't involved pre-hackathon, but I can, I can tell you that um, we're learning a lot at all of us. Um, we're finding that uh, through, build, through the build out, it's going very smooth um, and we're learning new things every day. We have uh, individuals and companies reaching out to us almost daily, um, trying to use our platform and the possibilities are endless. Um, we think we know what we're capable of as a business. And then we get an email that totally opens our mind to a new possibility that you know we didn't even know existed at the time. So yeah, there, there's a lot to learn. A lot of possibilities with Hedera and GoMint. It's it's going. Uh, we're going pretty well, and uh, yeah, there, there's a lot to learn. It's a continuous process. I would uh, I would say. <laughs> yes, for sure. I think for the whole industry, that's the case. Um, so, Peter, if I am an artist, walk me through. You know, I'm interested in learning more about your platform. What should I do? Uh, you can email us. You could uh, reach us. Reach out to us on Twitter. Um, we are interested in people reaching out right now, both businesses um, and individual artists, and we can, we can walk them through step by step on how to, how to mint with us, or, or if they wanted to get involved with the launch, or any artist that's interested or any business that's interested to reach out to us, charities as well, if they wanted to do fundraising. Um, we have a wonderful charity at launch, uh, Bees for Development. I would urge anybody to go check them out. They're going to be a uh, putting up a NFT piece that's pretty unique. And so I think it's a good option for, for everybody, for artists, for charities and for enterprises. So. Very exciting. And you said email or Twitter. Do you have those, um, those handles if anyone wants to contact you? Absolutely. Uh, on Twitter, we're at go mint me. Um, as far as email, there's a, there's a form on the website or they could uh, reach out to me directly, peter at go mint.co. Um, yeah, and we also have a YouTube channel, which I probably shouldn't have mentioned because I don't have the URL on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We'll post it in the we'll post it in the bottom of the a link on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, um, and we're very accessible. Um, if anybody wants to reach out, I'll answer personally, or or Richard or Alex would reach uh, reach out as well. <laughs> Great. And anything else that I didn't ask that you'd love for you know the community at large to know? Um. I just, I guess I would just like them to know that, um, you know, it, it's, it is cheaper to mint on, uh, on Hedera than it is on other platforms where there's gas fees of 50 to $80, whereas on Hedera, it's that $1 fixed fee, which is amazing. So it makes it easier to tokenize uh, low value assets where on, on other platforms, it might not be possible. Um, and our launch first week of May, um, have some exciting things there. Um, you guys at Hedera gave us some NFTs for a giveaway. So I'll let this serve as that announcement. <laughs> <laughs> All but, right. Well, we are looking forward to following you on that journey, Peter. Thank um, thank you so much. I suspect we will have an update to this fairly shortly as we get into May. And, um, thank you again for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, Zenobia. I appreciate it.